math is involved in this and it's tough. Hello, my name is Emma and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I make new videos every single Thursday ranging on topics, but right now I'm kind of focused on Disney because I'm going to be moving there in July to participate in the Disney Cultural Representative Program. I have a ton of other videos talking about the whole CRP, so I will link those down below. But today's video is a very exciting one uh, for people who love like stationery and just, I don't know, organization, I would say, uh, because I'm going to be showing you my CRP binder. Now this binder is something that a lot of CRPs make, especially if they are Canadian and driving down for the program. And it basically is just gonna hold all of your information that you need uh, during the first couple weeks that you're there and starting everything off. And if you're driving down, or even if you're flying, it's gonna hold all your visa information and everything like that. I used a lot of different videos for inspiration, so I will keep those linked down below in the description as well because they are very, very helpful and very useful. But yeah, I am gonna go through this bad boy for you now. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the cover of my binder. Um, I thought about the cover of my binder for a really long time. I didn't know what I really wanted to do with it. I didn't want to do something that really like screamed Disney. Um, I didn't want to do something too plain though. Uh, it, I just really struggled. I watched a whole bunch of videos and I loved everyone else's binder covers, but they just weren't, you know, something that I wanted. I wanted something original and I felt like I'd just be copying other people's. So... I went to the dollar store and I thought, well, I'm going to be working in Epcot, so let's try and do something like with Spaceship Earth because I love Spaceship Earth. And I found this pack of cardstock paper that I loved. There was like so many different colors, but the gray and the pink really spoke to me and I was like, okay, I think I'm going to get this. And then I came home and I was like, all right, we're just going to do Spaceship Earth and then write Emma CRP and that's going to be the cover gonna be very minimalistic very simplistic and it's just it's gonna get the job done basically I started by tracing a border around the piece of paper that I wanted to put everything within I think I made it about an inch and then I made myself the spaceship earth and I saw how big that was and then I kind of did the math which was very difficult because it was very rough numbers and not accurate at all and I figured out how big I needed all the letters to be uh, for Emma's CRP and I cut them all out and I laid them down on the piece of paper and I looked at it and I was like, this is looking very bland and very flat. So then I decided, what if I did everything on the front in two colors? What if I did the letters in pink and gray as well as Spaceship Earth? And then I retraced out all of the letters and spaceship earth in gray and pink and I cut them all out and I laid them down so that it was like the gray um is a shadow of the letters and then the pink is a shadow of spaceship earth and it really just made the things pop off the page and I love it so much more it doesn't look as flat as before because I really was like oh this is kind of boring and I wanted to like draw all over it but now like I just I love this I love how simple it is I did film the entire process of me making the cover so I think I'm gonna attach at the end of the video right before like the end title card just the whole time lapse of me creating the cover because I love those kind of videos so let's move on to what's inside this thing um, a bit of a heads up mine is intense and it has two sections you are probably only gonna need one section in it but I have two because I also wanted to use this for my uh, just like YouTube plans and my bucket list and all that kind of stuff in here as well. So not just the travel information that I needed. So the first section that I show you is probably what you're gonna need most. And when I tell you I'm extra, I'm extra. I made a table of contents for each section, okay? You don't need to go in as much as I did. I <laughs> have nothing going on except this. So I went a little crazy. Everything also that I bought for this was from the dollar store except for the binder itself I got it in the summer of last year when Costco had their back to school stuff but the cardstock and all the dividers and plastic pouches are all from the dollar store 
So I have mine broken up into six sections within this first uh, portion of the binder. So I have moving as the whole entire section. That is this whole section um, that everything else that I am about to list falls under. Then I have identification, Q1 visa, Disney communications, travel insurance, um, travel documents, and miscellaneous. So under the moving uh, divider, I just have my table of contents for everything that falls under the moving category. The first section under moving is identification. Now I'm not going to flip through and show you everything in here because there's a lot of sensitive information in here. So you, once you have that stuff, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But for now, I'm not going to show you what it actually looks like. But in your identification section, you'd want to put your passport, a copy of your passport, your birth certificate, your health card if you have one, your photo ID card if you have one or driver's license. And what else do I have in there? Oh, your SIN card as well. So your social insurance number and when you eventually get your American social security number or if you have one already because you've worked there before, put it in there. I plan on just getting like a uh, pencil case to put all that in under the identification tab just so it's all there and I can easily access it. The next section is Q1 visa and this is where you're going to want to put your I-797 forms or your petition documents. Disney will be sending those to you after you've given them your police check. It takes a couple days, sometimes a couple weeks. Uh, it usually happens around ooh, the 40, 50 day mark. At least that's when it happened for my group. Also, when you cross the border and you officially get your visa, if they hand you any papers, I would put them in the Q1 visa section of your binder as well. And if you don't have a hole punch on you, I would definitely bring a plastic pouch to slide that into so you always have it on you in this binder. The next section is Disney Communications. So this is where I am putting everything that Disney tells me. Anything that they email me, that stuff is going in this portion. So far in here, I have my acceptance letter and my acceptance email, which I printed out. Also, when I get it, I'm gonna print out my itinerary and put it in there. I'm putting my dorms documents in there, so anything about, you know, Disney housing. I've also printed out the receipt that I've paid my first, like, big payment of my acceptance fee, and I've put it in there as well. So that's just kind of where I put everything there. I completed my onboarding today, and there was so much information. It was really stressful. Um, so I just, like, wrote some notes down as I was doing it, and I've put that underneath there too. I'm going to print out all the forms I filled out during onboarding too and put it under Disney communication just to be on the safe side. The next section is travel insurance. Mine is empty at the moment because I still need to go and get my travel insurance. But in this section, what you'll want to put in there is the confirmation that you've paid for it. And if you just want to have peace of mind, I would print out the brochure as well. So that is the PDF that your travel insurance will send you basically explaining everything that you're covered for under your plan. Next up is travel documents. Now the only thing I have in here so far is my confirmation for my reservation at uh, Ohana's on the night that I arrive in Florida. So I'm very excited about that. But other things that I'm going to be putting in this section include the route that we are taking, the way we're driving to Florida. Also any hotel reservations that we make on the way because we are not driving to Florida in one day. We are gonna take our time. We're gonna take at least two days to get there and we're gonna have two hotels that we need to stay at. Also, I am staying off property until I move in. We're staying at just like a Airbnb just to make sure that all my stuff is somewhere safe and you know, not taking up a Disney hotel room instead. Finally, the section here is miscellaneous. Now this is where you're gonna put your police check in case they need it. Um, mine is weird, it's actually on like a really long piece of paper, it's on a regular size sheet of paper. So I folded it up uh, the way that the people at the police station handed it to me and I've put it in a clear plastic pouch. That way I have it, I'm not putting a hole punch in it and it's not awkwardly poking out. Um, outside the dividers. Then the other things that you're gonna need to put in here probably, your OHIP forms wanna go in there, uh, basically saying 
that you've told Service Ontario or Service what Canada, whatever province you're from, that you are leaving the country for a year and please don't cancel your health insurance because there are horror stories about that happening. The next section in my binder is more of my social media and fun section. Um, so I will show you everything that I have in here. So just like my moving section, I have this portion called lists. And then these two dividers fall into that. I have my packing list and then I have my bucket list. Then just beneath that, I have my socials section. So my socials include Instagram, YouTube, and calendars. And then I have an extra section here for whatever I decide to put in there. So let's start with lists. Lists under this divider have a table of contents. Ooh, because I'm extra. Um, and I have my packing list broken down into different sections. And then I have my bucket list broken down into sections as well. I do not have my packing list printed out yet because uh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to pack and I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything on the list. So I'll print it out once it's finally done and it will fit right lovely in here. Then I have my bucket list which I've printed out. It is very long and very detailed but it, I thought it was fun to just you know have it here. I can go in and cross things off as I complete it. It looks very excessive on camera. I'm looking through the viewfinder. It does look excessive. But you know, I have a year there. I'm sure I can cross off a lot. So then under socials, I have Instagram, YouTube, and calendars. So in the social thing, I also have another table of contents. And under Instagram, I have post ideas that I've thought of or ones that I can think of and I'll write down. Caption ideas, because sometimes you're watching a movie or listening to a song and something pops in your mind and you're like, well, I want to write that down and put it as a caption. So I have that. And then this one's not really Instagram related. It's kind of like I wanted to put it with my bucket list, but it didn't fit properly. So it's just a list of all the photos I want to take, the photo pass ones, the stereotypical like casting agency door photos, that kind of stuff. Then second to last, I have my YouTube section. And this is where I have put all of the video ideas that I have. I just have a sheet of paper that I have written on because I know I'll be adding to it, so I'm not about to print it. I have to go through and cross off a whole bunch because I've completed them already in this lead up to moving. So that's exciting. And then also I have another video that I've been planning and working on. So like my script slash uh, storyboard type thing that I've written for it. And that's pretty much it for the YouTube section because the final section is calendars. And in this section is literally a calendar from May 2019 to July 2020. Um, my entire program is in here. And I'll go to one where there isn't really any writing. Okay, let's go to September. So what I've done for each month is I want to keep up with my Thursday upload days. So I've gone through and every Thursday I've just blocked it in red so that I know that that's an upload day. And then once I have found my work schedule out and everything, I would write in blue and green like when I would film it and when I would upload or edit it. So this really was helpful for me when I was in school and trying to keep up with a consistent schedule because I could see the whole month. I even wrote like in my assignment dates in here too. I have some reservations written in here. I have like final illuminations. Um, and then this green post-it is all the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party dates and prices for this month. I know, I went a little crazy, but once again, I'm home all the time, I'm not working right now. I have nothing else to do. And then of course just the last section is some lined paper in case I need it and all my extra plastic pouches. Again you will probably only benefit from like the first section I showed you in here with all the uh, moving information. Maybe you want to throw a bucket list in there. Maybe you want to throw a packing list in there. I would definitely recommend a packing list just so you know also what you brought with you so that when you're packing up to leave you know what's yours and what you need to bring home too. I hope you found this helpful even if maybe you're planning on doing YouTube maybe the calendar idea helps you like think of a schedule or something like that. That was my Disney binder. This is what I've spent all my time on and now that it's done I'm like not knowing what to do other than pack and watch Netflix documentaries. 
but that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe down below i still don't know what side it is i need to figure that out if you have any questions about the things that I am putting into each section or anything like that, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. That sounded like an answering machine. Now, if you'd like to see the full time lapse of me making this monster here, um, that is going to start right now. <laughs> just nice to just sit and watch the time lapse all right thank you so much for watching bye